Welcome to the Steve Dave Show. Special guest today is John Holland, chair member of chair president <laughs> and member, I guess I can do it, okay, with uh, the great Southwest track and field. And, and we're having our ninth annual indoor track meet coming up February 10th. 10th. Time goes by fast. Just when we were just sitting there like just a couple weeks ago. Just yeah, that's uh, all men to that. You know, they fly by pretty fast. Well, you know, this is going to be at the convention center, correct? Yeah, Albuquerque Indoor Convention Center. And it's kind of, it's neat, the, the track, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a nice event. I, I, I've, gone to, I've gone to it about five or six years in a row now, and it's grown on me. It's, it, it's a good time of the year, and it's good about good for track athletes. Well, you know, we're growing. Last year we had a record 450 athletes, and I hope this year that that number of athletes increases and the thing a lot of people don't know about it is that it's the world's second fastest indoor track in the world rated by the IAF and about three years ago we had a <clears throat> group come from Florida his name's Tyrese Cooper one of the outstanding athletes in the country in the 400 and 200 and they've been traveling all over the country going to different meets and Arkansas supposedly has the number one track but this group from Florida said that this track is faster than the one in our Arkansas. And last year we had a lot of athletes from Colorado that they couldn't believe how fast the track was. Plus we run at altitude. So it's, it's many advantages for an athlete to come here if they're a hurdler, jumper, or sprinter. So I just want to plug that about the quality of this track that the city has produced. I don't want to step, and then there's like high jump. Or, oh, yeah, there's, there's, there's high a, jump. The, the, the high jump, and there's somebody that's coming in special that's is going to try to set a record, or is the national, or is that in the summer? So that, That's more in the summer. The summer, but I'm just saying, yeah. that I, I know because the reason we messed up, we messed up one year. We, we didn't get the high jump, and he just set a record <laughs> one time. And, and, I, and I had John Holland in my office every day for about, <laughs> about two or three weeks and trying to get, why did, I, why did I pay you guys money for it to be doing this? <laughs> So we don't. That's one thing. Every time I, every time I think of you, the first thing I say, guys, we don't miss the field events. I don't. I, uh, we've got to pay attention to the field yeah, events. That's yeah, the, that, definitely. That's, that's the first. We can laugh about it now, but it's. It, mm. it, it, it was. It, it, I, I'll never forget getting that phone call, and I call my guys, and, and something happened, or why we we missed his jump, or you know, we we got we 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 didn't get his. We we got a jump, but it wasn't the one that broke the record. Record. So, yeah, right. he broke it last year. Guy from Oklahoma. No, we got that one. No, we, oh, we, yeah, we, we got that one. But You're it was talking like, about like, previous. Like, when we first started, like five, six years ago, it was like, oh, no. Cause I, and, and you came in the office, and I'm like, man, I don't, I'm sorry, John. I can't do anything about it. We didn't. It does happen, but it was it was funny. But our, but since that time, you know, you, you know, I, I, one, I want to thank you. I, I know you. You wear a lot of hats doing this, and, and it's you've been doing it for a long time. It's nine years with the the indoor, but also you do the, the great the Southwest, outdoor. and that's been been longer than nine years. So yeah, it's, it's, no, that uh, we're actually the outdoor meet is it'll be our 43rd, but we're the second longest running invitational track meet in the country, next to Golden West, and they're about at 52, 53 now. So we'll we'll never catch them, but they're not the meet that they used to be. Nowhere even close to it. That used to be the premier meet of the country. So let's talk about who's who are we going to see in this in this thing this, on, on the indoor. How many well, in going? the you know, we have a little different setup. We don't have a selection committee. Anybody can come to the meet. Anybody you don't have to have a qualifying mark. Um, and the, some of the outstanding individuals that I've gotten to come in this year. There's a young lady out of Denver area and a minor that I'm sure one day you're going to hear about her in the Olympics. She's already run 53-5 indoor, so she's coming. Uh, Tyrese Cooper, that was number two in the country last year, won our Great Southwest at 45-3. He's coming. Then there's a <clears throat> athlete from Louisiana, um, Sean Burrell. He ran 46 flat as a freshman. He's coming in, uh, and then uh, Maisha Evans. She's she won our Great Southwest Outdoor Long Jump last year, and then there's another young lady named Jay 
uh, coming from Phoenix, Arizona, that's a high 19 foot long jump. Those are the athletes that I know about. There's probably others that because there there, 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 there's always late bloomers to the, the see yeah. and, and then all the get late entries coming in and and, and that's why we wanted you you know on the, on the Steve Davis show to just to kind of talk about it because we're you know just you know it's it, it's here I mean it's, it's coming up on you I know that uh, closer than I want <laughs> right that, 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 I was going to say that it's like oh uh, we, we talked about it like guess what guys now it's uh, we're ready we're, we're ready to go so yeah and, you know and for those that have never been to an indoor meet you really need to come out and see it. Um, now, is it in conjunction with the UNM? Yeah, is UNM that, runs that, runs that, a meet till about no. three o'clock that day, and that's what I found was really. I actually, I don't know. If, you, you've gotten me kind of every year. I don't know if you notice. I come a little earlier, come the other because I, ne I never know what might happen. <laughs> you might need something or try right. to do, do. One year I was helping you fill in the, the uh, starting it, blocks. No, no, no. That was last year. Though. <laughs> the, 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 the year before was the uh, we were. We were because of the UNM went too long. We were trying to get registration, and I was out oh, there. Oh, yeah. I was helping you out there with the, the registration. That was that, that was a fiasco. And then it's funny. <laughs> every year you kind of learn from that, and you this last year went smoother. But then we had a little problem with some blocks, and right. And, and I had, I was I was I, I went out and got them got it got it done. John, <laughs> John calls, and I and I, I and we came through. Well, I, so. I really appreciate your help on that because I don't know where I would have found starting blocks at that moment in the game, the day of the meet. <laughs> and, you were and, life and, 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 and basically I had a, I had a, I had a, I kind of learned a lot about the ball. I didn't, I, when I went out, I, I met uh, Ed Dragmaster. He was really nice. He came out from, he met me and got me, I was in my truck and, and he gave me a lecture on, you know, <laughs> how, how they work. And, and I, I, I was, I, I was very, I learned something. So it was, it was good. Well, John, we're going to go to the, to the uh, Dreamstyle Remodeling Top 10 Plays of the Week, and we're going to come back and okay. talk more about the Great Southwest Indoor Track Turn. Track. Thank you. Chavez has the ball. She's trying to throw it. Picked off by Martinez. Can't you go all the way, Chavez? And Martinez puts it down. Oh, here's Mitchum. One on one here against Roy Ball. Gotta go with the reverse. Hey, this is now you've seen Lel Ron have some energy since that timeout, but they're gonna count that. Fakes the pass. Yes! Miles steps around and tilt. Paul and Behill and Scipio spin cycle to Paul and oh, what a look inside! Seven to play. He's going all the way to the paint. To the paint. It's blocked. It's blocked. Oh, couldn't finish it. Oh. Point blank range on the miss there. Oh, strong take. Rogers, throw it down one time, big fella. Transition to Rasas. Oh, JDL gets up in a block of his own. The little fella gets the block just like Rogers. Oh, he hammers another one home. Even things, you're 3-0 in district. You improved to 12 and 5, but this this is huge. You celebrate with your dad, you give him a hug. 700 wins for Frank Castillo. Thank you. Thank and that's got to mean a lot to you. Yeah, it does. It does mean a lot. You know, it's longevity. It's, you know, having good players, good coaches, good support from families, and good support from my family. So it's, it does. It means an awful lot. I'm really happy. You got the 16-point lead at halftime, and then it kind of slipped away. Sandia had a, a couple of runs where they made it three points. You were able to answer, though. Yeah, you know, we were able to answer him. We hit some big free throws down the stretch right there that really helped us. 
And then I thought the other thing too, we came out kind of complacent. We weren't hitting shots, uh, but you know, you got to give credit to Sandia. They didn't give up, and they they gave these kids a good fight. So we're happy to be three and zero. And I'm kind of, I'm, I'm going to really be happy that this whole thing is behind me. You've got a big crowd in front of you. Everybody, everybody appreciates it. What do you have to say about that? It's got to mean a lot to you. Oh, it does. I, you know, my parents are here, my, my dad, my family's up over there, and my friends. And, of course, all these people right here. You guys are awesome. Thank you. There you go. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank Enjoy it. Welcome back to the Steve Davis Show. We have John Holland, General Chair of the Great Southwest Indoor Track and Field Meet that's coming up on February 10th. I did good on this one. I didn't yeah. I did, I, 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 I did butcher you. I didn't but, no but, blooper. But, 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 but John, you know, you know, you you can't do this. There's, you know, one you want to probably, you know, throw some accolades out there to the people that uh, won the convention center, of the city. So there's. A lot of people that keep this thing going, you might want to throw out a few things and say thank you for a little bit. To some well, you know, there. if it wasn't for the officials, uh, Lawrence Apodaca, who's our officials chairman, Joe Giglia, who's our meat director, uh, Leon uh, Chavis, who's our assistant meat director. I mean, if I didn't have Your those board, guys. Uh, huh? All the people on the board. And all yeah, that, all uh, the people on the board. I mean, it, it's... Uh, Everybody has to work together or it wouldn't be successful. I mean, I, I do a lot of work, but I need their, I, their help is greatly appreciated more than they realize. And one that's probably special to both of us is, you know, and not that he, you know, he does a lot. I know that, you know, he has the board, you have your board meetings with Mike Danoff and, and you know, and Patrell, Padrells, they bring in the food, food and, yeah. and, 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 and you want to thank <clears> them because it's, it's so neat to see that, that that barbecue food sitting there and it's it, it's it, an enticement i hope <laughs> well it is i mean it, yeah it, you know it, it, it is but it, it's also the the passion that he has for 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 track and and for you and for mike and, and the whole thing and but uh uh well mike we actually went to his office and we get to see the first viewing of mike danoff in action at his law office perfect great well, I first got involved with Great Southwest because I coached an athlete. It was held in Phoenix, Arizona. It was eventually moved to Albuquerque through John Holland, moved it here. And I coached an athlete at it, and it was quite a meet. It was held at Phoenix College, so I became familiar with it. It was a much smaller meet in those days. And then when I came here, I became involved on the board. I've been on the board for several years, so that's been my involvement. It's rated the second fastest track in the world, I mean, in the United States, I should say, to the Arkansas track. It is. This is our ninth indoor meet. Uh, it's quite a meet. It showcases uh, people from all over the country. Uh, we have uh, a young man named Cooper coming in from Florida who's a national age group record holder who came here. Didn't even, we didn't even know he was here the first year and he's now come back for his third year uh, in the 60 and the 200 meters and the 400 meters. It's a great meet. We'll have over 600 athletes in it. Uh, in addition to that, it's, the indoor arena is just beautiful there at the convention center and it sheds a new light on track and field because it's one of those events where it's very concise and consolidated. So it's a real fun event. Yes, I ran at Highland High School and I went on to run at Arizona Cross Country and Track from 65 through 69, almost the dark ages, but I was able to run there and compete, loved every minute of it, and I competed thereafter in AAU events and other running events. I have a look, well, for all sports, but I have a special kinship towards track and field. I got my start here and the love for it the University of Mexico and watching the days of Adolf Plummer and Jim Dupree and some of the great athletes who were here, Dickie Howard in the 60s, when I was in high school and hooked me on it. Uh, and I really enjoyed it and my cultivated love for it. I wanted to give something back to it. And this is a great meet. We'll have over 750 athletes at the outdoor meet as well. And it's giving back to these kids. They didn't have these type of showcase events when I ran track. Well, all we had was the Junior Olympics once a year, but these kids go to several of these meets this being one of the premier meets, both the indoor and outdoor. I'm chairman of the board of directors, so we meet here at my office. We meet at least once a month, uh, except for maybe the month after the meet or two months after the meet, we meet. We work together as a team. It's really a good board. It's a very active board. Uh, there's a lot of committee members. There's outside people on the selection committees, and it's an all-encompassing uh, situation. John Holland has been at the head of it since he brought it here and does a tremendous job. 
uh, works full time at it almost. It's a full time job. And it's, it's just one of those things where it's a real group effort. Well, the indoor meet's one of the premier meets because there aren't a lot of indoor meets. There's one in Boise, Idaho uh, that's two weeks after our meet, but this, the indoor meet, is a premier meet. It's early in the season. Uh, indoor is catching on in the high school, so it's become bigger and bigger. But the outdoor meet's probably the top one or two meets in the country. There's a Reebok meet and a couple others, but this is one of the premier meets. And it's because of the attraction of it. It's right at, it's the first weekend, weekend in June. The attraction's unbelievable. The athletes we get, the showcase athletes, uh, is, uh, is phenomenal. We had, to give you but an example, for those that aren't track and field aficionados, we had a four by 400 relay team from Florida that ran around 304, which is unbelievable. Set a national record. That's college type times. I mean, they had a place in the NCAAs, believe it or not. That's how good they were. We had kids running the 400 meters under 45 seconds. This is phenomenal, it's unheard of. We had the number two best all-time 300 meter hurdles. Uh, gentlemen ran that, so it's an unbelievable meet. Seven foot high jumpers, you name it. It's, a, it's really the meet goes over uh, four days. So it's in that sense, uh, it's uh, three days I should say, with the decathlon taking place on Thursday and Friday events taking place Friday night and all day Saturday into the evening. It's exposure. Uh, these kids get to compete against kids they may never compete against at a high level, both in the indoor and outdoor, and it gives them a bar which to achieve or where they stand. So it's unbelievable. We've had great success. Uh, the Bird young man from uh, Manzano High School, he comes here and runs at the first year, gets fifth, sixth. Last year he was seated like sixth or seventh to take second in the race phenomenal race. He'll be, uh, it's my understanding, he'll be running the indoor. He's been very supportive of the outdoor meet, obviously a great football player. And our alumni, if you look at some of the alumni that ran this meet, I can't recall all of them, but it's unbelievable, the alumni that have participated in this meet. And it's neat because it brings kids together too. It's a great exchange for track and field as well. They can exchange workouts, they get to know each other. We have a big party for them at the end of the meet, which I might add as well attended. You know, the biggest memory I have, I gotta say, is that four by 400 meter relay. That was just phenomenal. Four kids running that fast at a high school level that's an all-star team. It's not like they work together every day with regards to uh, baton exchanges and that. And to watch them run at that level and run that outstanding a time, it was shocking and surprising. I mean, you don't hear 304 in there by colleges, let alone a high school, four kids getting together. And I would say overall, just getting to know these kids is a great thrill in helping them in their development track and field. The New Mexico High School Coaches Association, established in 1941, is an organization of New Mexico's best and most professional interscholastic coaches. Coaches across work daily to help our student athletes excel in the classroom, on the field of play, and in our communities. Students that participate in interscholastic activities attain higher grades, higher graduation rates, and higher wages. Responsible for the North-South All-Star Games, statewide coaches award program, and providing multiple professional development opportunities for New Mexico's coaches. Be a great coach by coaching beyond the game. Hey, New Mexico, come check out the newly remodeled guest rooms at the new Wyndham Albuquerque Hotel and Conference Center, featuring 309 rooms, 30,000 square feet of meeting space. New Mexico's only indoor water park featuring the Wave Runner. 2,200 square foot fitness center with hydro massage chairs. Also enjoy breakfast at our new Monsanita Grill and watch your favorite team play at Altitude Sports Bar and Grill. It's all at Wyndham Albuquerque Hotel and Conference Center. When I train for American Ninja Warrior, I schedule regular workouts to stay in shape. To keep my car in Ninja Tough shape, I head to a Napa Auto Care Center for regular maintenance and genuine Napa Auto Parts. Like brakes and batteries. I trust my Napa Auto Care Center for quality parts and quality service. And with the 24 month, 24,000 mile nationwide warranty, I drive away with peace of mind every time. Visit AutoCareNM.com to find a location near you. Get into the game with Garden Swartz Team Sales. They have everything you need from screen printing, embroidery, and digital printing services, high school letterman jackets, and all high school and club uniforms and individual and team apparel with the most reliable brands like Speedline. 
Rollins and Wilson. And don't forget to check out the latest F7 Shut Helmet. It's all at Garden Swords Team Sims. Give them a call, 505-884-1234. Garden Swords Team Sims. I want to congratulate our first customers at our brand new facility right here at Gala Chevrolet, the Jose's. And how was your experience? It was awesome and great. What did you end up buying? We bought a 2018 Chevy Silverado. And how would you say the experience was overall? I bought all my cars here at Gala Chevrolet and we couldn't wait to for the new facility to open and all the people uh, really treated us well. Well, on behalf of Gala Chevrolet, we say thank you and we'll see you soon right here at Gala Chevrolet. Well, I'm going to the frontier, walk to the cashier, order up a root beer and a number one. Cover it with green stuff, warm scoop is not enough. Find a booth is real tough, back by the Duke. Meet my family, meet my friends in the quirkiest restaurant I have ever been. All of Albuquerque's favorite spot, it's the Frontier Restaurant. The Frontier Restaurant is a proud supporter of ProView Sports Network. Car Crafters, proud supporter of ProView Sports Network. Are you sure we're supposed to be doing this? Don't worry, I've watched him do it a thousand times. Come on, what's the worst that can happen? No, bad dog. Hi, welcome to Car Crafters. What happened? Uh, don't worry, we'll make it like it never happened. Car Crafters! It's like it never happened. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the Steve Davis Show. We got John Holland, general chair of the Great Southwest Indoor Track and Field, and also some. I guess it's the summer too. Sure. Uh, so uh, it's uh, you know that was a great great thing by Mike Danoff. You can see the passion in his eyes and the deal about his memories of doing track, and that's one thing I you know John I, I know. That's why I have so much respect for you. This is a dream. You, you, you've, you've kept this thing alive. I mean, you've had help and everything, but it's you, the, the driving force, to get this thing done. I, I definitely have a passion for it. You know, my goal is always is to be the number one invitational track and field meet in the country, and we're close to it. I just wish we'd get recognized for it, but we really aren't. And uh, but the thing that'll bring us as a lot of people say, the next level, we need more. We need more moolah, more me, me money, more, me, more revenue. And, yeah, and more that, revenue, and it's it's tough in this town. No, you, you know we all fight that. I mean, it's it, it, it's it's yeah. something that uh, you know because there's only so many revenue sources, right. and 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 everybody's got a great passion about what they do. It's just a matter of you know uh, to bring a, a meat like this. I know. You work year round on it. I mean, people don't. I I, I admire <laughs> why. I mean, it's one of one weekend or two weekends with two events, but it's something that it, it, the clock starts ticking as soon as it finishes. Right, it's it's year round. I just want to mention something about Mike Danoff. You know, I've known him for uh, after an untimely death of my good friend John Baker. I had kind of an emotional elapse from it, and he took over my Duke City Dasher team and coached them for six weeks and ever since then we've been best of friends and he's really a great supporter of not only the great southwest track and field classic but track and field in general i'll go one step more he's just a great supporter of athletes in new mexico okay and right. on, on and it doesn't matter if it's girls or boys and and it's uh, or sports girls or boys sports and 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 you know he's always there with a helping hand to to you know he's an attorney but uh, that's probably that's not his biggest trait it's just he's just a great great person and, 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 and individual for this you know for the city of albuquerque and the state of new mexico i agree with that wholeheartedly so you know we we've got you know mike did a great job of talking about people going to be there you've you've talked about some things but the how about our local? You know, we haven't really talked about our local. Are there going to be some local people coming in? So. Well, the only one that I really know about um, is Jordan Bird. I know for sure he's entered. I, well, I, I, that's that's pretty big. <laughs> yeah, you know, the other what athletes. What a great young man he is. Yeah, he's a tremendous athlete and just a tremendous guy. 
going to San Diego State in football, and he's still still running. So that just kind of some people get a big head and forget about you know it's work running, it's it's a workout, and he yeah. he he still has the desire to do it. I, I remember him being actually in this office like four years ago, and I just told him, told him just to stay humble and because good things are going to happen, and, and he's he has lived up to that. Yeah, he's he's quite an athlete, and uh, but he's the only one that I really know. You know, the, the, I don't I don't want to say sad thing, but a lot of the high schools here don't really aren't start working until the first week in February. So we don't get as many athletes from Albuquerque as we would like. You know, when they used to have an indoor season that started in January, now it doesn't really start till late January. Uh, we don't get as many athletes from New Mexico. I mean, from Albuquerque as we'd like, and I don't know how you bring that to 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 happen. You know, it would really help the attendance. Basically, I could answer that question, and we did already hit it. It's just sponsorship and revenues, and make it. You know, if more people get involved with it, then then right. then, then, then then if the you know there's a lot of moving parts to doing that, but. Uh, Get people involved, and then all of a sudden, those things do happen. Um, how many, how many people are going to be doing these events? How many people are coming? Well, Fox last year, plus or minus. Well, last year we had 450. I'm hoping, you know, that uh, we increase up to 600, 700. It's just, it's really hard to say. That brings yeah. in revenue to the city. Yeah. I mean, it's it's an economic impact to the to the city sure. of Albuquerque, and, and I know that there's you know I know hotels and you know one one of my sponsors was Wyndham. You know, you talk with them, and there's other hotels that I've, you've worked with. But it's it, you know it's kind of like I'm, I you let me sit in some negotiations with the hotels and stuff, and basically. They don't. They 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 have to give a good rate, good deal. Because if it doesn't, if you don't, if it doesn't, if they don't help, it doesn't happen. Is, is no, that a good, it, it probably it's a, wouldn't. It, it, it's a very 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 simple, very easy <laughs> formula that you know you're not out. If you want me to bring a big event in, I need I, I need participation and and then it's it's amazing what you have done with all all the vendors that you have that uh, look forward for, to this track meet. Yeah, we've worked with Wyndham. This will be our first year, but we've also had MCM Elegante. That I don't know how many years we've been with them. So, it's it's it, it, both of them. I have, feel like we have a great working relationship, which helps. And I and I know that you know because that I I really don't want to get into that topic, but it, it it's neat that you let me sit in on some of the negotiation because I, I hope I helped and get, get get some things done for you, but. Uh, it was it was it was it was neat to see that uh, that sometimes you you do this and you feel like the whole world is kind of against you instead of <laughs> when you go out and, and talk that, that everybody really wants wants to help and, and get involved they just don't know really <clears throat> and I'm a perfect example of that. I just don't really know how to get in, to help and get involved with you and this, instead of just talk good things about uh, the track meet and and and. and and it, it's amazing the good things that have happened over the over well, the last Well, you've been night. a great assistance for me, and particularly in the hotel, and allowing us to come down and talk about our track events. Well, we even cover it. So that, that, yeah, you covered that, it for and, quite and, a and, while and, now. And, 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 that, and I want to thank the city, but that's one of the things that uh, you know the community is out is you know we cover it from five o'clock, and sometimes they go to 11, 12 o'clock at night. So right. So, uh, um, and, it's that's one thing you have Mike Danoff. He, it's just amazing. He just sits there and, and does that, and, and he just keeps on and, and has passion with every time he speaks during that tournament. Oh, I'm into that. Well, yeah. Let's look up on again February 10th, five o'clock. We got it up there on the on the screen. And, cool. and if you got any questions of um, anything? They do you have give your they, want, they call you directly. You want to give your number out? Sure. Uh, you can reach me at 505-280-4931. Well, John, there, and we got it right there. I mean, Josh is on top of it, man. He's got, right. got that, got that thing up there. But, but uh, hey, I want to thank you for, for coming on, and thank you for getting this, uh, bringing people to New Mexico. And 
what a great place. We and you are New Mexico faithful, and, and uh, <laughs> it's great that uh, we let people come to our, 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 our great city and state to, to have these athletes perform. Well, I'd just like to recommend anybody that's never been to an indoor track meet, they need to come. It's exciting. It's warm inside. Price. One thing. Oh, adults are $10. Seniors and high school are 5 uh, 12 and under are free. Well, well John, thanks, and, and thanks for all your hard work. Well, thank you also to ProView and everybody that's been involved with the great Southwest Track and Field Classic.